You know, I'm so happy with the progress that we've made so far in this Thorium Bard series. We're basically onto the Queen Jellyfish now. And then after that, we're going to do the Queen Bee. And it's just like the, the whole process of getting to this point has been pretty easy. I've been enjoying this, uh, this series quite a lot. It's a nice break from as much chaos as, as Calamity was with the Rogue. And honestly, it's just... It's just a lot of fun. It's fun, right? It's fun. So the queen jellyfish, we have to fight over in one of the oceans. We need a jellyfish resonator. Uh, we're going to have to set that up. And we also want to do the queen bee and then Viscount. Now, queen bee, obviously, in the jungle. The jungle is going to be one of those things that we have to go focus on and get some stuff out of. There's like a uh, an ocarina that we can get from there. I think there's uh, a couple other weapons. Like We can make a, a honey thing. Um, we can also make some... Uh, resin i think it is or rosin or whatever it is for for stringed instruments which is an accessory that we can use so there's a bunch of stuff we can get in the jungle so that's like the next big thing um let's shine our shoes and then buy an aglet because we need that to upgrade our boots but we haven't found one yet and if we're going to the jungle we're likely going to find the piece we need for the next upgrade um i did purchase the jar of mayonnaise <laughs> which if you don't know is a spongebob reference uh, it's to the episode where they they start like a band and it ends like super epic, but uh, Patrick, like everybody says grab an instrument and Patrick asks like, if a jar of mayonnaise is an instrument. Um, that's what it is. It's interesting. So check this out. Uh, let's go. Let's go use it on this zombie that I hear right here. So it kind of like it's like napalm. It like throws stuff out that lands on the ground. It's very weird but it's really good. <laughs> so we're gonna hold on to that. Um, right, I think we're basically gonna go to the jungle first. Although, although, do we have ocean teleportation potions yet? We got jungle, water chestnut, ooh. What, what, what's it a material for? Spring water, oh, interesting. So it's like a better, health potion because normal health potions are 100 this is 125 I, I like that I like that there's like an intermittent um uh potion here very interesting but I mean that's a that's fairly expensive to upgrade to regardless All right beach teleporter potion yeah we've got a couple of these so I'm going to buy two I'm gonna have to go there at least once to set up a uh uh what, what sword I'm looking for <laughs> A boss arena, kind of, but I'm not really going to focus too hard on that, but it is something that we will end up doing. I think I've got everything else I need here. I don't really need an axe on me, but I'm going to keep it on me just because. Uh, let's get rid of some of our buffs. Wait, that was weird that it was a... Oh, that was because it was favorited. Got it. Uh, yeah, let's double check our piggy bank. It's clear, so if we want to go dump a bunch of crap in there while we're in the jungle we could do that in fact just to save us time let's come back up here i i do plan on making teleport teleporters like i did in the, in the uh calamity rogue series so let's get this let's teleport to the jungle uh i kind of feel like is it crimson over there oh my goodness with this crimson seriously i kind of feel like maybe we just go in like right here and hope for the best oh look we found a hive. We're actually not very far in here. We've already found a hive. That's super good for us. Um, I hate I hate tracking down hives, but this is nice because we we need all this stuff anyways. Uh, didn't get very far down, honestly. I think what I might do, what might be a good idea, is to go back and get a spelunker potion as well. I want to clear this out a little bit. Maybe get some some actual hive and some honey, which I don't remember exactly what we need for the uh, the items we. Oh my goodness, a boulder! <laughs> this place is a death trap. Oh my goodness gracious! So with honey block and bee wax. Okay, so we actually need to kill a queen bee then. Um, we can make the honey recorder. Which seems interesting. So it releases a harmless but sickling, sickingly sweet toot of sound that covers an enemy in honey. Right click some of bees that damage and seek out the nearest enemy covered in honey. Hmm. 
And then we also have the Rosin, which is uh, piercing string instrument attacks will lose 15% less damage per hit. Piercing string instrument attacks will increase in speed every hit. That's actually quite nice. So if we want to go like full uh, guitar hero, <laughs> that's that. I think that's going to be the way to do it. Let's keep digging down. I managed to climb my way all the way back up through a tunnel. Funny how that works. All right. I'm going to go back. Um, let's go dump a lot of this stuff back in our stash because, well, honestly, I don't need it right now. And I'm going to get some Spelunker potions because I, I have a feeling that's going to help significantly. We found another hive here. You know what? I'll take it. Um, we're going to have several easy attempts against uh, the Queen Bee. Although one thing to keep in mind is we can't just craft the Abomination if we really want to and just summon it with that. So that way I only have to set up one. That's actually a really big hive. Or is it two hives? Oh, it might actually be two hives. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, I could summon the Abomination. Only making one arena would be, well, efficient. Some time here. What the heck is attacking me? Oh, it's a shell. I hate those guys. All right. Get over here, buddy. Oh, we got like multiple chests here. Um, here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna dig this way. I'm gonna get this chest and I'll go down there, clear all that out, get that chest. Uh, feral claws, not what we need. Got more spelunker potions though, I'll take that. I'm gonna go get this thorium while it's right here. I'll also get the stuff down there too. It just helps, um, because I'm pretty sure all of the inspiration fragments that we plan on getting are gonna require thorium. In fact, uh, let's double check that. So thorium bars, yeah. So <laughs> all of the shards are going to require thorium, which means I really just uh, need to collect a bunch of it because I'm going to be going through a lot of it, which, you know what? Fair enough. The, the mod is called thorium. <laughs> so if you're, if you're expecting to have to collect, you know, some other titled uh, uh, ore for most of the major upgrades, well, then silly you. Oh, we got the ocarina, which um, is super good for us. I, I'm i not entirely sure if it's gonna be a primary weapon for us, but we do wanna take a look at it. Um, I need to get to a safe spot though, because this is a big hole with a lot of stuff. Eh, we should be fine for a second. All right, what does it do? It uh, right click to summon a forest sigil, which mimics your ocarina. Bring forth a sigil, it costs five inspiration. Playing empowers players with the bonus. Resource maximum two. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so let's say for a second that, and this it is bad, but we can we can fix that. Oh, I like that. Oh my goodness, this weapon is so good because I can just like fire from around a corner that is really really good all right i may have found a new primary weapon i i like that a lot in fact i could foresee me using that on quite a few bosses if it, i mean if it continues to be good i also i believe it's a wind instrument so my upgrades for wind in instruments will um, apply. I don't remember exactly what those are. Actually, I think it's a homing. Man, if that can home in. Oh, that's that's like stupid good. That actually might be really good against the queen jellyfish, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> I I joked about it yesterday being like, ah, oh, we can do it. It's gonna be easy. We can, we can do it. But it's, it's not the easiest boss fight. It's kind of, uh, I, I, I want to use the word wonky. It's kind of wonky in a good way. It's just, uh, it's different. It's very different. I think that's the best way to put it. All right. What's in this chest? The digester healer class. I've never seen this before. 30 radiant damage, which is crazy. Uh, propels a gl gl globular globule. There we go. Of disgusting ooze that sticks to enemies. Players that damage affected enemies uh, recover 10% of their damage's health. Uh, afflicted enemies can only grant 20 health per application of ooze. Oh, that's a really cool idea for a weapon for the healer. I like that a lot. Also, I've got this really annoying gravitation potion that I accidentally buffed with. <laughs> and it was causing things 
to be a little difficult as far as movement is concerned. So taking that off is ideal. Conveniently, we have just found the jungle. I'll take it. Also, I'm totally out of, um, what do you want to call it? It's torches. That's not great. I hate when I'm out of torches. It, me it means that explore. Ooh, there's a, a cool chest over there. That's one of the thorium chests. So definitely a priority to go look and see what's in that. If I can actually get over there without dying. What? It's a hag. It's like some jungle witch. <laughs> can I? Get her dead. I like the bounce. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. The bounce is pretty sweet. Did we pick up anything other than like petals in the metal? I don't know. Probably not. All right, can we get up here? Let's get this hornet dead. Uh, potentially. There we go. Uh, I, I keep forgetting that I don't have torches. <laughs> the deep staff. We got a ring of unity, a rage potion, topaz ring. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's quickly do this to just uh, pause it all. Now I did this before with a full inventory. Where'd all my stuff go? Oh, this is the chest. Oh my goodness. That's why I was so confused for a second there. That was almost a really bad deposit. There we go. Then we can loot all and then we can go ahead and deposit. Okay. It's, a, it's an easy way of <laughs> Getting an extra uh, inventory space, you know. I like those chests a lot. They've got some really cool items in it. But unfortunately, I think I need to go back to our main base in order to find some uh, torches. And at the same time, maybe just go set up for the queen jellyfish. I think, I think that might be the best choice for us. Because, like, I'm looking for more of these chests, but... Outside of the one that we just found, I haven't found one in a while. Gone through a couple Spelunker potions at this point and not really getting much. Another hive over there, that's good to know. Yeah, I don't I don't necessarily like just jumping through the jungle like we are, trying to search for individual chests just so we can have the boots that we want. We do have the, oh goodness, what's her name? Operator, I believe is the name of the uh, NPC. Which is a uh, uh, alchemist NPC light NPC, which gives us access to some accessories that we may not have. So that's also a possibility. Let's go ahead and go back then. Because my goodness, my inventory is crazy. Uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and get torches first. It's kind of annoying that the, the guy is all the way up here. There we go. I'm going to re-roll this. It is a wind instrument. So do, do, do. wind instrument attacks now home attempt to home in on enemies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's going to be the weapon to use then. That's going to be nice. Let's go ahead and loot all. And we're going to dump this in because I don't think there's anything here that I really need. Although uh, what is it called? Metals? Metals. I don't know why I thought it was marks for a second there. We're going to come up here to this guy. And ooh, what's this? Totem collar. Someone's a chosen totem sentry at your cursor's position. Hmm. Uh, we're going to gr get a grim pedestal. And because we recently unlocked it and we're going to get the tracker. Now nah, I'm not going to get the tracker support yet. I'm going to use that as decoration, but I'm going to hold on to my my metals for the time being. Uh, we could just dump the loom, maybe? Uh, let's get rid of the heavy workbench. I'll just have to remember it's there. But now we have a demon altar for crafting. Uh, let's check the, the person over here. Movement misc. Yeah, it doesn't actually have, although I think I need these for the obsidian ones, yeah? Which is used for the lava waders. Ooh, firestorm boots. Huh. Interesting. Because we want to get the frost spark boots, but in order to get those, we need the lightning boots. In order to get those, we need the anklet of wind. She doesn't have the anklet of wind, unfortunately. She's got a bunch of other things that I don't currently need, but maybe that's in combat. No, not in combat. And that's the only two options that we have with Alchemist NPC light. 
All right, that's that's fine. Whatever. Let's re-roll this weapon actually while I'm over here. Man, I'm jumping all over the place. Do, do, do. What can we get? Vibrant. Speed and velocity is not a bad thing. Although 18% damage is quite good. I'll go with refined for now. I like that. Uh, there is a weapon that we need from the Queen Jellyfish, but that'll be more of a long-term goal, I think. That's going to be Why is it always raining anytime I'm back up here? <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking about going and getting stuff, but at the same time, I'm in a situation where I feel like I can't go anywhere. So what does this thing do? Releases a bolt of dark magic at the cost of life. Hit enemies are briefly burned by shadow energy. Half the life cost is given to your ally with the least health. Ooh. Man, these healer things are so cool. I like that a lot. That's a cool item. I don't believe there was anything else. Yeah, okay. So we can go ahead and deposit all that. Now, I really should buy some wood real quick and prep to go make a arena. Don't worry. I forgot my torches, but I also just remembered to get them. <laughs> That was a close one. Okay, I collected all the stuff I need in order to make the summon. I set up a little boss arena. So I think we're basically ready to go. I just need to go get, um, well, first I need to make the resonate. Is that what it not was? Jelly? Oh my goodness, what is it? I thought it was a resonator. Reson, what am I missing? It says I need a demon altar. I've got one. So maybe. Oh, it also says I have no seashells. Oh, I see. That's that's why. Uh-huh. Gotcha. We got <laughs> We figured it out. Res oh look, now we can oh this is so amazing. We can craft one. Uh bam. I really am not looking forward to potentially dying here. But I think if we get enough um enough buffs, we should be fine. We'll we'll see. I think this new weapon of ours is gonna be super good. Potentially, we'll, we'll, we'll make a judgment on that mid-fight, and I may need to swap to some things out. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that's that's all pretty good. Let's check to see if there's any specific thorium ones that I need. I mean, all attack speeds by 15%. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, I think that's what I think that's pretty much good. Oh, food, food. I almost forgot about food. Uh, it's under. Oh no, that's crafting. Let's go to potions. It's not under potions. It's under misc. Goodness, I know I got a bunch of food, but it's not showing in these lists. However, again, as I said before, I know I've got a bunch. All right, we'll go with the glowing souffle. All right, so let's go ahead and take this right now. I'm going to go ahead and buff before I teleport over. And we'll turn off that. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm hoping for the best here. Gonna going to recharge a little bit. Oh, little slimy boy got me. I, I really like the damage of this ocarina. I would prefer to kill that slime. This weapon is incredible. All right, let's, let's put another one of these down. Let's get some fragments. <laughs> this, <laughs> this boss is so silly, but you know, I'll take it. The fact that we have some homing weapon, uh, I feel like makes this a lot easier than I have attempted in the past. <laughs> I, I really like the fact that the mouthpiece makes um, some of the wind instruments homing. I do have to keep summoning that little help order thing, the thing that also fires for us uh, because it does have a limited time on it. I really need to not get hit by those little bubbles if I can avoid them. They're hard to see because of the rain. Oh, 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 oh we're getting swarmed. Okay, let's get a few fragments. The Queen Jellyfish doesn't seem to like our platforms. She, she keeps getting stuck on that top platform, which I think is really good. Oh, no, don't suck me in. No, no, no. I'm just going to hang on. <laughs> we'll, we'll just hang on over here, you know. Don't suck me. Okay, she's, she's going away. 
Uh, this is fun. This, by the way, uh, uh, don't get hit by those. So bad. Oh no, don't throw me up. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is getting a little chaotic here. I'm getting all sorts of thrown around. Oh, it sucked. I don't want to get sucked. Stop it. Go away. No. No. <laughs> don't hit me with your tentacles. Uh, what kind of fight is this? <laughs> it's getting really chaotic at the end. It was super easy, and now I'm like, I don't know about this. I want this inspiration fragments if I can gather them. Oh my goodness, this little guy. These little guys are insane. All right. Kill, kill, kill. Just finish the boss off. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we're so close. Fire at the boss. Lock in. Fire at the boss. Oh, we did it. Oh, and we got an, a new NPC, which I don't think I have housing for. Uh, let's go ahead and shop and get anything that I might need. Massive crab claw. Hitch a ride on a gigantic crab. While mounted, you can walk on liquids. That's cool. I don't have enough money for it. Although I might when I open this up. A jellyfish idol summons a jellyfish in a bubble to follow you around. We could buy shark fins. We could buy a new fishing pole. Oh, that is nice. Uh, and coral, which I can be, which I can use to summon another one if I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy a. Well, I had two left. That's ten. Buy two more. Okay, so now I can make three summons potentially. But did I get my weapon? I did not. <laughs> I got. A bunch of stuff though. A bunch of good stuff. Okay, let's go back and check this out. So what is this? The sea breeze pendant. Uh, wearers of this pendant shall not fear the depths. Increase your breath by 50% and grants the ability to swim. Increase your damage by 10% while you're wet. Oh. Um, we got the queen's glow stick. Uses 10 mana. Creates an endless amount of glow sticks. That's... The best thing I've ever seen in Terraria. The fact that I could just glow stick it up. Well, that's nice. Uh, actually, you know what? Because of that, let's make uh, just a couple mana stars. Is it not going to let me use that end of the... There we go. Just so I have more mana to be able to utilize that. We got the sparkling... Uh, or Sorry, the sparking jelly ball. Which... Attacks may briefly paralyze the hit enemy. Well, that's cool. And um, we got a bunch of torches that are cool. All right, but we didn't get the one weapon that we're really looking for. I'm not super heartbroken about that because that this weapon is insane and it might be actually quite good against the queen bee. My, my problem with the queen bee is going to be that she's a little quick, right? So this weapon may not end up being the best weapon versus queen bee. But look at us. We're just like, we're cruising. Got Queen Jellyfish, next up Queen Bee, then the Viscount, Skeletron. That's a corpse bloom. Randomly appears in the post-Skeletron underground jungle. Interesting. Illusionist randomly appears in the dungeon. That was a bunch of stuff that I've not seen. The Lich. Oh, this is gonna be cool. 